Hello there. You clicked on this video because you need a little help with your fly fishing cast. And I'm gonna show you what's worked for me over the 35 years that I've been casting one of these. And I think after I show you these tips and what's worked for me over the years, it could apply to you and help you get that line a little bit further out than you are today. So, first thing you wanna consider is how you're holding the fly rod. What's worked for me is to put my thumb on the cork. That just gives you a little leverage when you go to cast. Next thing you wanna do is you wanna peel out about a rod length of line, floating line, from the tip of your rod, right? You need, you need a little bit to work with, so about a rod length of floating line to the tip of your rod. Now, I mean, unless, you, unless all you're planning to do is cast that far, you've gotta pull out some lines. So, if you're new to fly casting, let's pull out, you know, maybe about 20 feet of line to get started. Now, one of the first things that, the mistakes that I made is when I was casting, I would go too far back on my back cast and too far forward. It's really tough to load the fly rod and the cadence is just is off, right? When it's going too far back, the loop that you create is just not very efficient for casting the line out. So when I first started out, what worked for me is to kind of have a, a mental discipline, right? I'd make sure that my rod went no further back than 10 o'clock and no further forward than two o'clock whenever I'm casting. So keep that mental discipline and your rod won't go too far back on the back cast. The next thing that I did that helped me out was that I, I was much more patient on the cadence, right? A lot of new fly fishers, they feel like they gotta really whip it out fast. That's, that's not how you cast, right? If you, if you wanna get the line out and really make a smooth presentation, it's about patience. In a lot of cases, I mean, you can wait a long time on your back cast before bringing it forward. If you wanna wait, think of a hand of a grandfather clock, right? Tick, tick. You've seen the river runs through it, right? In that pendulum that they used. So, nice, easy cadence. You wanna make sure that the fly line fully extends behind you before bringing it forward. And you wanna make the, sure the fly line fully extends in front of you before bringing it back. So be real patient. That worked for me over the years and really improved my cast when I started paying attention on how long, right? And it's okay to look back at your fly line too and to see when it's all extended out and then bring it forward. If you do that, you're gonna have a much better experience. The next misconception is a lot of new fly fishers believe that they gotta false cast a ton. And what false casting means is that you're just kind of waving the rod back and forth waiting to make that cast, right? You don't need to do a lot of false casting. In fact, the less false casting you do, the better. I wanna demonstrate here on how little false casting you have to do. So we have that full length, rod length of floating line in front of the front of the rod, right? We've got probably, I don't know, 20 feet of line right below you here. And watch what's gonna happen. I'm gonna lift the rod once and I'm gonna be able to shoot the line out and almost all this fly line with really just one cast. Ready? All the fly line. And as you can see, once I got myself prepared, it took me one cast to get all that fly line out. I don't wanna hook onto the bottom. All right, so we're at the end, right? We're ready to cast again. Wait for it it out nearly all the line now if you have to make one false cast to get it out there that's okay so I'm gonna peel out a little more line I'm gonna make about a 30 foot cast I'm gonna false cast once now shoot it so only once one false cast and I got all that line out a lot of new fly fishers once when I was first starting I thought oh I gotta whip it back and forth nope I found out it's really about shooting the line out. And if your mechanics are right, right, if you wait for all that line to extend out behind you, you don't go too far back on your back cast, you can shoot all that line forward with just one cast or one false cast, and then your shooting cast. So don't make the mistake that I made and wave it back and forth too much. A lot of times, once, twice, and it's, it's ready to go. The next thing is, now this, 
gets a little more technical, right? You'll notice when I'm casting, and I'm just gonna cast for you here, you notice that I'm using a little bit of wrist, I'm using some elbow and shoulder, right? I'm not using all wrist, it's not very efficient. What's worked for me is to use a little bit of wrist, a little bit of elbow, and a little bit of shoulder. I like to hold the fly rod almost kind of at an angle, about a 45 degree angle away from my body. For me, that's worked. I like keeping the fly as far away from my head as possible. So that's worked for me, and that style may work for you as well. So let me just cast some line here. And now I'm gonna do some false casting so you can kind of see what that looks like. See what I'm doing? Now I'm gonna turn so you kind of see the angle of my arm. So watch again, so I'm fishing this in. Now I'm gonna pick it up and shoot it one. See how far that cast was? That was probably about a 25 foot cast. And that's all you need to do. About, about at the end of the swing here, I'm gonna pick up about 15 feet of line and I'm gonna shoot out all this line that's out here. Pick it up. What's that? Now the next thing that I'm doing that you should consider doing is you always wanna keep in contact with your fly line. So when you're casting, watch my left hand, right? I am managing the fly line with my left hand, so your non-casting hand. Notice, right, right now I'm holding it tight as I'm generating some line speed, and now I'm gonna let the line slip through my fingers. Right at the appropriate time. There's actually a fish over there. <laughs> Let me see if I can catch that fish. I think you just need a dry fly. Oh, jeez. Oh, he just kissed me. Smashed it. Oh, he caught that one. I think he almost came out of the water. I was just literally letting it swing. This is a really big cat. Like, very large. Holy smokes. Oh my god. One of the largest cutthroat I've ever caught out of here. Oh my god. Look at that thing. That is a beautiful fish. Now those are some of the things that helped me out when I first started casting a fly rod. Now there wasn't YouTube back when I started, when I was uh, 16, 17 years old. So it was a lot of years of practice, right? So fortunately for you, you've got YouTube and guys like me that can show you how. So try those tips. They worked for me over the years and hopefully it'll work for you in just getting the fly line out a little bit further. But follow, follow those tips that I followed and I think you'll find some success. So. Thanks for tuning in, and if you're new to fly fishing, I put together a video, I think it's over here, I'll put it over here, about some of the basic gear that you need to get started. All right, until the next time, thanks for tuning in, fish on.